Notorious Thugs for your chance to win. It's coming up right around 8.40, so be ready for that. And don't forget the Live is 25 and Up party is going down at the Comfort Zone. You do not want to miss it. And now stop hip-hop and R&B. You ain't going to miss it because wherever you at, I'm going to find you. It's sticking in your middle, whether you like it or not, son. Yo, I got J. Cole, Big Sean, and I got Nicki Minaj. Diggy, next. You ready? Oh no, I need no, nah, I'm not ready. I need that um I need one of your tracks playing. That one. <laughs> Yo, man. Your anniversary, man. Yeah. Out here. Black History Month, making black history. Chasing cash, city. You know. Power 107.5, man. I had doing very big light skin things in 2012. <laughs> it's ill, man. There we go. Uh, you want the Young Money new shit? Um, or Fresh Out? Um, or Evolve? Stupid? Let me see. Um, I don't want nothing. It's, it's everybody's jam. Might as well I don't want it. nothing? All right. Ready? Hey, why don't you get can? You gonna just go out there? Or you got canvas, man? Or you you are you already set? Oh, okay, you're right. Okay. He did kind of look at you different. Uh, you, you, but you did. You did though. You came from the same products. So I, I know. Okay. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Wow. I know some people from y'all projects who don't. I know too. All right. But Candace do. Okay. I'm gonna work anyway. Yeah, I know. He been tripping. Ever since he done, he ain't intern out no more. He been tripping, but he's still intern out. That's cause I work out. Yeah, now. Yeah. What does GA stand for? Oh, okay. I wonder. I thought it was goofy ass. We're the only, we're the only. <laughs> Face card, nigga. Hey, I don't know. We the only cameras that do a, a lot of stuff bad. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> like we the only cameras without a dress code. You, that's, but hey, but y'all get stuff done. I'm about to have a dress code. Yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. You ready? Yeah. I gotta have you. Yo, what's up? It's your man, City. City Night Show. Power 107.5 Radio 1 is going down. Check it out. A year ago, I had the pleasure of meeting this, meeting this man, my man Chasing Cash, right here in the studio. And since then, even before then, he was doing crazy things. But since then, tour, still producing, been on crazy mixing, released his own mixtape, and been on mixtapes, production work, and everything. And right now, the... Paradise Tour is coming back to the city, and I got him early, man. I got him early. It's about building relationships, and I built a, a great one from here to L.A. He's from New Orleans now. Released his album on Mardi Gras. How big is that? Yeah, your boy City does his research. But enough said. Give it up for the world renowned. Chase of Cash. What's good, family? I'm killing, man. I'm killing, I'm killing, man. You know what it is. Out here in Columbus, man, back, you know, like you said, it's building relationships, man, year anniversary, yeah. good to see where, how everybody's progress around here, man, uh -huh. and it's good to be back in Columbus, man, you know, I'm a fan of this place, man, I'm a big <laughs> fan of this place, one of the few places that started showing me love early, yeah. I, like I said, I was pleased and pleasured and honored to come up here and be able to get bring my music to you early and like i said man you know repping new orleans a long way from home bringing it everywhere with me mm -hmm. and at the same time just want to go around and preaching everybody to be proud of their hometown as well you know that's why i like columbus it's yeah. a new thing man now from being from new orleans with that whole sound that came out of new orleans and still coming out of new orleans you really don't fit that mode of like a Wayne, a baby, a man, even with the Manny Fresh beats and stuff yeah. like, kind of like, um, I hear a lot of uh, New Orleans rappers, they'll, they'll flow, they'll stop and flow and stop. You're a steady, just 
I, I tell you what, you almost got an East Coast vibe, yeah, but yeah, with a little yeah. L.A. sprinkle on it. Nah, definitely, man. And you know, uh, I'm a product of this new generation, man. Okay. All I can say is I'm a product of my influences. As much as that no limit and that cash money mm-hmm. reigned supreme to me, it was almost yeah. like second nature because I grew up in it. So I was intrigued by the Jay-Z. And a lot of people... If you know about early New Orleans history, a lot of yeah. our music started on New, or- uh, New York music with the Showboys being a New York group okay. and that created the bounce and the beat and the bounce and uh, our bounce beat and everything like that. And we were very influenced by all the big rappers in New York yeah. and we loved it. I mean, Jay Z was on the high remix. That's how yeah. I got to hear him. So yeah. now, if you just said um, this young generation, this new music, I and mean, you called Drake the goat of putting this this young generation of new music out. Explain that. Yeah, definitely. I feel like right now, I feel like he's the best doing it on a very well-rounded circle. I mean, Mm -hmm. we all grew up listening to R&B. We all grew up listening to rap, not just solely one genre. And he found a way to mix that in and make that a thing that could be accepted on an underground level. Could he kind of like be a a, a hip-hop Ray Charles? No, no. That's big. Ray Charles is very, very big, but yeah. Drake is definitely on his way to being and carving out his own place, and he's already done it. I mean, we're talking about somebody who's 24, 25 years yeah. old with 12 number ones already. Yeah. And only other person before that was Puff Daddy, and it took him 10 years to do that. So, you know, we're definitely talking about a person who's changed the way people listen to the new generation uh-huh. and, the, and the way they view our content, because I feel like a lot of times... And for a long period of time, yeah. the older people didn't didn't know how to understand us. Like, yeah. They didn't know what we were talking about, what perspective we were coming from. Okay. Because they were too busy too busy leading us, and now we're leading our own way. And young people have a voice now with the Drakes and the J. Coles and yeah. the ASAP Rockies and the Kendrick Lamars now and the Mies and even the Schoolboy Qs and a bunch of other new cats out mm-hmm. here. Wiz Khalifa is one of them. I, I yeah. would put him up there like... It's, we're just a voice now. Everyone can't believe in Jay-Z. Everyone can't believe in Kanye West. Because uh-huh. everyone can't relate to them. Exactly. At the point in their life now to where an 18-year-old who hears us can relate to us. Yeah. How? What type of advice has Drake given you at, on this journey that you're taking? Like, what type of advice has he given you? What's the biggest piece of advice that he gave you that you've used to this man, every day? Stay humble, man. And that's okay. the biggest piece of advice I can take from him, especially me and my personality. I'm I'm a, a proud believer in myself, man. And Understand. I feel like I can As you do a lot be. of things on my own. Okay. And, um, you know, a lot of times I can be stubborn in my own right. Oh, okay. And for him to be as big as he is and for him to always be as humble and as willing to listen to me, I just want to be like that for other people, man, because mm-hmm. there's no... I feel like there's no reason why I can't be that for him to be doing everything he's doing and always be willing to take time out his day to listen to everyone around him he cares for. Yeah. That's the biggest thing in the world, man, because that's the people keeping you there. Mixtape, March 2011, you, you dropped that. What's next for you? Oh, man, the air up there coming with DJ Drama. I might mess yeah. around and drop it the day before Valentine's. You see, I didn't want to say, I wanted you to say that. Yes, I knew yes, it was yes, cut, but I didn't want to say nothing yeah, about it. Yeah, I'm yeah, glad, yeah, you know. Yeah, I ain't... Big things, man. You okay. know, uh, production from me, production from the business who produce every girl in the world. Oh. Who produce No BS for Chris Brown. My president is black. I got production from them. I got production from Rich Kid, Mega Man, New Kids from Toronto. Yeah. So a bunch of new talent. Okay. And like I said, myself, man, and you know, no features, just all me, man, all me rapping. Sometimes with producers like Swiss, like Kanye, um, just to name a few, name a couple, um, they give, sometimes, and twist, twist it too, they give beats, they, they sell the beats, but then on their album, you're like, man, maybe you should have kept that beat. Will it be in it, or do you have enough production to whereas nah, man i got i definitely got i definitely okay. got my one man you okay know, yeah everybody who's looking for that look what you've done i got one on mine <laughs> okay all right I'll... And, you know oh yeah nah and that's always gonna be my specialty man production is where mm-hmm. my heart is just like where my words are where my heart is right yeah. now man i always have been so i'm never gonna slack off but one thing i always say is man it's a bunch of talented people out in this world and i never deny what i feel when these people press play yeah and you know when i hear what i like man it just come out of my soul i got beats from a rap music. And yeah. If you've seen him on the NPCs. Oh, I've seen him on the World Star just <laughs> yeah, creating man. crazy. So, you know, I got a bunch of talented kids. I've been able to work with Cardiac, who's produced a bunch of bangers out right now that everybody like. Okay. And just messing with all the new generation and that new energy, man. You know, just raw. Like, I feel like I'm just bringing a new sound, new everything. 
a tour of this magnitude. Have you ever been on one like this before? No, man, I've been on... How, uh, how crazy is this? Man, it's actually very crazy, and it's very <laughs> crazy because I'm setting the pace. I'm going to be the first one going up, and everyone after yeah. that is going to be setting up, setting a blazing trail for Drake to come out and smash it every night. So, you know, it's going to be fun being that you know everybody yeah. you're on tour with, you have a bond with, yeah. and that y'all really enjoy everybody's music. You never know what's going to happen. Man, okay, you know? back in the day, when uh, Motown would send out all their best acts, uh, like nobody cared who went first because they were like, I'm going to go first. Now you got to bring it because I'm going to light it up. Really? Is that the type of attitude you're taking towards the stage? Because you're definitely. you're the first person that we see on this Paradise Tour? Definitely, especially for me being that I know that everyone won't know my songs as much as they know everyone else's songs. Okay. I want to go out there and make an impression, man. You know, I want everybody to know every night that I might be a new face, but I look like I've been doing this and I'm going to be doing this for forever, man. And, you know, that's all. That's my sole intention every time, man. My sole intention is just to get better every night. Okay. Practice right, makes perfect, man. And, you know, like... This is a college tour, and one thing I know I'm going to get is energy, man, because we did a few shows. We did Cleveland State early, uh -huh. uh, late last year. Yeah. And it was crazy, man, just the energy from yeah. all these kids because they wanted to see... They actually like everybody that was on the bid. Okay. And so, you know, like, that's just an energy that carries over. And I feel like once the tour starts and the buzz gets around and the mm -hmm. video starts circulating on the Internet and then people start seeing what else we're bringing. Because we're bringing shows, man. Yeah. We're bringing everything to you. And that, that, that's what hip-hop has been missing lately with um, these tours going around. Nobody's really put on, per se, a show, a production, whereas, okay, I could see coming to pay my last 20, 30, 40, 50, or even I, if I got to spend that to see you, because I know I'm going to get a show. Definitely, and I feel like this is one of the most versatile tours in a long time, coast-wise. You got Kendrick uh -huh. Lamar and T.E. Yeah. from the West Coast. You got me representing the South, and I'm going to be bringing out Midwest cats and Southern cats as mm -hmm. well on the tour. Then you got Drake representing the OVO. I'm pretty sure he's going to bring out The Weeknd and a, and a bunch of more talent. And okay. then you got ASAP Rocky representing New York and the whole ASAP, which is 35 yeah. people. Yeah. So, you know, you just going to have a whole bunch of energy and everybody also being on the tour and having music together. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of stuff we got planned out, man. And, you know, we bringing swag everywhere. We go merchandise, lacing everybody, man. It's going to be fun, man. Okay, well, I can't wait to get mine. Yes, but, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> before I let you get out of here, I would like for you because... Right, um, I, I spoke the other day at a college, and one thing I told them, I was like, it seems like these young people nowadays feel like the easiest job to get is to become an MC. Mm -hmm. They think it's real easy. Is there any advice you can give to up and coming MCs to let them know that this is actually a career choice and this ain't something to play? This ain't like a job at McDonald's unless you decide I'm going to own that McDonald's one day. Yes. What, what's the career? How can they set their career to make it a career instead of just a job or a hobby? Man, you have to take the time to learn business, man. Simple and plain, man. I can't say it any other way or sugarcoat it any other way. This is a business, man, and you're going to have to find a way to articulate yourself to a bunch of people who don't understand where you're coming from what you're speaking about currently mm -hmm. and you have to be able to explain that to them in detail because you're okay. asking for money and support at the end of the day All right. and the best way to get somebody on your side is to articulate your perspective and Okay. it's just really learning man you can go buy books at Barnes and Nobles All and right. another thing is definitely taking a risk man and if you're going to have a job and yeah. work know that you have to sacrifice and compromise something you can't go out here pretending at first and you have to be very very humble about your approach to this music business. Okay. You, if you think you're going to be an overnight success, even an overnight success took seven years, seven to ten years. Exactly. Like, even who let the dogs out, it took yeah. them a while to get on. <laughs> yeah, yeah you right. Pop overnight. So you have to know that, and especially in this era of the internet, where a lot you can get a lot of attention fast, yeah. but you won't get a lot of money fast. True. You have to take your time. You have to learn to pace yourself. Okay. And our generation has to stop comparing ourselves to each other. We have to stop looking on Twitter and looking at people good succeeding or what we think is succeeding yeah. and feeling like we're missing out because I feel like everyone channels their energy to a lot of the same things, yeah. which is Twitter and each other and everyone's opinion and what's on, the, on each other's mind. Okay. When you focus on yourself, you can't even worry about what nobody else is doing. You can only go forward. Enough said. Um, close out. I need you to look into that camera and give... Every, any way we can contact you, hear your music, everything, I need to know now. Yeah, 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 man, what's good, man? Chasing Cash, man, one infinite of the surf club, one half of Hit Boy and Chasing Cash. Shout out to Hit Boy, Mr. Niggas in Paris, you already know what it is, man. And you can find me on Twitter at Chasing Cash, that's C-H-A-S-E, the letter N-C-A-S-H-E. 
And you can catch us at itstheserveclub.com, I-T-S-T-A-G, surfclub.com, chasingcash.com, gumbopot.com. That's my Tumblr if you want to catch me on that, G-U-M-B-E-A-U-X-P-O-T.com. Wavy Navy merchandise coming, man. Club Paradise Tour starts back.